Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Jenna here and today I just wanted to do a quick, fun little video talking about my favorite romances. Now, what qualifies, you know, my perception of a romance book is if I believe that the couple stayed together past the epilogue. Like, if we were to do a check-in 30 years after this couple, are they still together? Okay. I have a collection of books right here, and I have a few explanations for each of the books too. Let's get on to it. Okay, starting off, come on. I mean, I every video I must discuss Warner and Juliet. Obviously, if you have just read the first book in Shatter, like if you if you've just read Shatter Me, you'll be like, why are people loving Warner? Just read on, girl, and you'll understand. This is the literal last book of the series. Oh, beautiful cover. I mean, look at that. But yes, so Warner, Juliet, and Game. They are, like, controlling the flipping world together. Like, I don't care. This, they are staying together. Next, Every Summer After, which if you have watched my July wrap-up, and if you like are on my Instagram and stuff like that, you know, I did not like this book very much, but I will give it because there is a specific trope in this book that I do not like, but I'm going to give it to Percy, right? Is her name? Yeah. Percy and Sam. I'm going to give it to them. They went through shit and they at 30 reconciled and fixed their crap. I'm going to give it to them. And I think that truly... I think that they are gonna last a long time. There you go. Next, Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I want the new cover so bad because I really just don't like this cover, but it's just so iconic. And it's large print anyways. Favorite, favorite Childhood Friends to Lovers book right here. And I truly believe that Macy and Elliot stayed together because what did they go through? Trauma, especially Macy. Macy went through it. So I think what makes a good couple is if they've been through a lot of downs and they're still coming up, you know what I mean? So like with a lot of childhood friends to lovers, I really do always believe the romance because it's hard not to. Because you're like, okay, you went through this traumatic event or whatever, whenever y'all were young and you still came back from it in the future. So I believe their romance 100%. Next. Red, White, Royal Blue, which is, if you did not know, is becoming a movie with Nicholas Galestine and I don't know his name. Is it Taylor? Oh, I don't know. But I love them both and I'm so excited for the adaptation. This book is one of my favorite romance books ever because I think it just does romance so well and I truly believe that these two people stay together. Their banter in this book, if you are wanting to, you know, dip a little toe and some queer romance please start off with this it is so good the spice is so good like it, the tension the banter it, like i genuinely was laughing while alex was talking like i just love this book believe the romance next we have we'll always have summer this is the third and final book in the summer i turned pretty trilogy conrad and Belly, come on, I truly believe that they are endgame. They've been through a lot of ups and downs. Do I believe that they're both flawed? Yes. I think they're very both flawed, especially in the books. And I think they need to work through their situations and their problems. But I think if they work together, I feel like they are endgame. They got it. Next, this one I'm kind of on the fence about, and I'll explain why. We have The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walther. This is really recently have, has just been kind of blown up and stuff like that because it's the perfect summer read. I genuinely enjoyed this book. So cute. The romance was adorable. It was Wit and Meredith. And the thing with me is I believed their romance, but they got together very quickly in the book like you I mean and that's not a spoiler like it literally the first like chapter or two they get together very quickly and they're only together for like a week before they start like really feeling like these true feelings for one another and I honestly like I believe that because I I do believe in like love at first sight kind of thing or just like affection at first sight 
Um, but I, I really do think that they would last. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Next, we have Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Charlie and Nora are endgame, and that is all I'm going to say. Are you kidding me? They're literally perfect for one another. But if we're going to talk about someone that's not perfect for one another, Alex and Poppy. I loved this book, don't get me wrong, and I loved the romance, but I do not think that these people last with one another. I think Alex is a king. Alex is a king, okay? Poppy? No. I think she was just a little problematic. But that's my opinion, you know? But Charlie and Nora, for sure, end game, okay? Next, we have The Love Hypothesis. Now, this is a book that I really, like, I loved and I, I still love love Adam Carlson don't like all of very much but once again with like every summer after they went through a lot especially Olive Olive went through a lot and her and Adam worked with one another worked together and I think that they are a power workplace like doctoral couple okay I really do believe it next we're gonna end off with some coho these are the two coho books that I really, truly believe that these two people... Actually, I'm going to add another one in there. I'm going to add another one real quick. Is there another one I want to add? Mm, I'm adding another one. Okay, we have four coho books that I want to talk about that I truly believe. The Romance, starting off with Reminders of Him. Ledger and Kenna went through it, okay? They went through it, especially Kenna. Ledger is my favorite coho boy. Favorite. Love that man. And I believe their romance. For sure. Next we have Regretting You, which is underrated in my opinion. But Morgan and don't know the guy's name. Is it Mi it's not Miles. That's ugly love. I don't Miller. Miller. There you go. I truly believe the romance because if you've read this early on, Morgan goes through it. And same with Miller. They go through it. It's one of the biggest plot twists. They go through it and they experience a lot of trauma together. And I think that once I said it before, I think if you experience a good trauma with one another, I feel like y'all are in game. So love this so much. Final stretch, y'all. We got two more. All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. This, a lot of people have mixed reviews about this, and I can totally see why. I did not really like Quinn in this, but I, but if I was put into her circumstances, and if you've read the book, you know what those circumstances are. If I was put into her place, I don't know how I would be. I think I would be a little bit of a B-word, too. So, but Quinn and Graham, once again, they went through hell and back and they are still together. They're both flawed people. They are both, I mean, honestly, all of Coho's books, they are all flawed. Like there's not like a perfect little character. No, they are all flawed people, especially this couple. This couple is very flawed, but I think that they are end game and that they are lasting with one another. Now to end, to end it, we have Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I'm going to be honest, all of the couples in the Hopeless series, there's three. All of the couples in the Hopeless series by Colleen Hoover, I truly believe are Endgame. But these are like, you know, the two, Quinn and Graham, then Sky and Holder. If you've read this, you know, you know what they've been through, especially Holder. You, you know, especially Sky. Like, Sky has been through it. You know. And the fact that Holder is the way he is and is so just amazing to Sky, he is a king, she's a queen, and they're endgame. Guys, that is the video. Look, that, look at all this. These, these are all of the romances. These are either, these are kind of a mixture of my favorite romances, but also just these might have not been my favorite romances a few of these but they were romances that i believed 
romances that in while I was reading them I was like yeah they're staying together okay but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one